Hey everyone, in this video, I will basically just show you how to make sure that your Wex website works well with all screens. Now, I need to say that uh, nowadays or most most of the time, Wix kind of does everything for you. Where if you, for example, if you create a website uh, on this uh, view, the desktop view, the widescreen view, uh, and you switch to mobile it's just going to all fit in perfectly fine you just do a few adjustments uh, it's going to be very simple but sometimes for some people um, using the classic editor and that kind of stuff uh, from the uh, like previously before the updates and stuff maybe they still have a problem where they just um, it, it, it seems like well it seems fine within the white screen but then if you, they switch to mobile some elements are missing or some things are just cut off and they don't really see everything so i will just um, put out some fixes out there for you and show you exactly uh, what uh, the problem may be it's very simple it's, it's uh, straightforward and everything so first uh, usually or for most people that don't really have a problem if you just adjust everything within your website here uh, you can see uh, this is the desktop view the widescreen view uh, they allow us to obviously preview it uh, for mobile so if we switch to mobile you can see how wix automatically just makes things uh, all perfectly fit within your website for the mobile view so you can see here it doesn't really look the same so things are not going to be like you know left to right they are just going to be all compact into a uh, smaller area just like this now here you can obviously adjust a few things for mobile just make more um, compact if you want you could just make footers larger or bigger uh, same goes for here for the header if you wanted to have a bigger or smaller you can do the same thing for menus if you have them uh, and things like that. And you also do get the header scroll settings for mobile and how you want it to uh, act. And all of those things are going to be all set from Wix uh, within the you know new updates and stuff. It's not going to you're not going to face a problem unless you have a specific kind of glitch or problem that you had from the previous uh, editor, which I will show you how to fix. So. What I'm trying to say here is basically some people have a problem where, uh, for example, this section is going to be like this. So they, they don't really see it on mobile. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, and they can not really just edit it like I'm doing right now with the new mobile editor. So they can not really do so. So the, the fix is going to be from within the desktop view here. So from the desktop view, you have a few guidelines that you need to follow. So the the, the normal one, the regular one, without any strips, without anything, uh, you see these two uh, vertical lines here. This one on the left and this one on the side. If you're still facing the problem, basically what you not what you need to do is try to fit everything within those two lines. So the tutorial here, the the uh, uh, icon. You need to fit it over here. Uh, the uh, planets here, if you want it to be visible, you need to fit it over here. Same goes for each and every other element. So if you want to fit this entire section into the mobile view, you just put it over here. Uh, same goes for the rest of the elements. And then afterwards, if you, if you go to switch to mobile, you should find it to be fixed. However, this does sometimes not all of the time cause a different problem that you now need to fix which is going to be if you go to your uh, desktop view if you click on preview you can see now we have a lot of empty spaces so but if we preview on mobile uh, even if you don't have the new thing it should also fit within mobile but for the desktop now it actually kind of looks uh, not so good because you know we have a lot of empty spaces now and it's not what we want so if we go back to editor we have a different method so both methods work but it just depends on what you want 
uh, for your website and your section is just going to be dependent on you and how you want it to be. So the other method, basically you go ahead and click on add um, a section. Oh, I mean, add element, my bad. And you go to your, uh, to the strip section or element. I keep saying section. Okay, so go to your strip elements. And then you just go ahead and go to the classic and just get uh, the classic um, strip. From here, you obviously need to make sure it's... Um, the background color is just... Uh, transparent so you can actually see the things behind it to do so you just go ahead and click on change strip background and you go to settings and make sure this is at zero and now we have a strip over the um the sections that we want next step we need to make sure we have we split it into two uh, and then it's just going to give us different guidelines where we need to place the elements so it can show for both desktop and mobile in a very nicely uh, put way. To split it into two, you simply go to your layout. Here, you just click on the strip, click on layout, and then from layout, you go ahead and click on add column. And then uh, you have now, it's split into two, and then if we click here, you should, you should see the two new guidelines for the left strip, and same goes for the right one. You see the guidelines. So what you do is click on the elements that you want to add, whether it's in the header, the footer, um, middle, it doesn't really matter. It's, same goes for everything. If, if you want to add another strip, you go ahead and do so. Um, add a column or even more columns if you want, and then do the same thing. What you need to do is just get your elements and fit it between the two vertical lines within the strip on the right side, and same goes for the left side. So here you see the E, the letter E, and the word engaging on text whatever goes beyond these two lines is not going to be visible so now this welcome thing we need to adjust obviously and make sure that it is uh visible so we need to try and grab it if we just move down the strip just so we can grab this let's just move it up a little bit there you go okay so we see now it's within the two lines try to make it in the middle to look nice and we should be done. Let's just move the strip back up. And boom, we should be good to go. Make sure it's within the guidelines. And now same goes for here. If you want to add the strip here, same thing goes for this section or any other section. And then lastly, you should be done. If you preview the uh, website on your desktop, it should this seems better like previously we had the welcome and this the planet thing was much more separate uh, like it had much more space on the left and and the right so again we can do the same thing for the header but i just uh, didn't want to take a lot of time but then if we go to the mobile view it should all also be fitted again it's, it's i don't have the problem so this is why it, it seems like it's already like good to go i don't i don't need to do the whole strip thing but this is just a fix for the people that have uh, the problems within uh, fitting everything within the mobile and desktop. But for me, because I don't have that, I don't really need the strip for the header. I can just simply drag and drop them wherever I want. And it's going to automatically uh, fix them for me. And again, afterwards, after you're done with that, you can simply just adjust for example this is way too big so we can just uh adjust that to be much more smaller and much more compact and we can also hide elements within the mobile if we don't want it to be there so for example this image i don't want it to be viewed within the mobile i can just make it hidden and now we can just have this for our mobile and now if we, if we click on desktop, again, you should find the image, but on mobile, we should not find the image. So it's it's a very simple fix. Again, it's either the strips or you just follow these guidelines that are um, in default within uh, Wix. That is obviously if you have the problem, because now, again, I keep saying Wix kind of does everything for you, where even if you're out of guidelines, it should suit the mobile view.
So I hope this video helped you if you had a, a problem like that. Um, and thanks for watching.